In this webcast we'll be looking at some of the meta characters as shown in introduced in activity 10 of the unit and the first one we're going to look at is the question mark so the search was for s question mark ng and as shown in the in the unit this means that it'll look for any one character that appears in that spot and we could have a quick check see which forms this brings up and this makes it quite clear that it's got song, sing, sang, sung, sing and sing <coughs> all kind of vowel forms so this means any one arbitrary character the next search was for asterisk able or able in this case as we'll notice we've got able we've also got other words which end in able or able uh, available probable unstable etc so we can deduce from this that the asterisk looks for an optional character or characters before the string the the letters that we've put in So it'll give us able, it'll give us any other word which ends able or able. If we're not so interested in able, but we're all we're interested in words which end able or able, we can use the plus. In this case, we won't get any ables. And I can show you that how that is by looking at the frequency breakdown. This time, able is not at the top of the list. Okay, our next search was for encyclopedia and using the square brackets we can look for different spelling options in the same word. So this should bring us up all the instances for the two different spellings of encyclopedia. Here we have encyclopedia with an E or with an AE. And of course then we, we'd be able to check which one is more common. I have a feeling they're about the same. Yeah, they're very very similar. This isn't, of course, the only way to do it. We can also uh, remove the E, and this shows that we want to look for A or nothing. And this should bring us up the same results. They are the same again. So this square bracket is really quite a useful thing if you're looking for alternative spellings of the same word. If you're looking for alternative words, however, we want these round brackets and we need this bar. Have so we separate the two options by this symbol here to look for the two different words so we should get all instances of take a shower and have a shower here we are we have take and we have have and again we would be able to check which one's more common have a shower as it happens right um, final search was for light again. Now this is to show that we can combine various different codes. So we're using the tags and we can use the meta characters with them. So this asterisk only applies to the tag. It looks for any verbal tag at all. quite a useful way of looking for them. Let's just see what we've got. If we look at the tags, yeah, we, we notice that the, sometimes it's the infinitive, sometimes it's the base form, sometimes it's not sure if it's a base form or a noun. Again, this is quite a useful uh, 
especially to bring up ambiguous tags.